Hola mis amores, this is Kirby Marie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to some more top 10 stuff related to video games. In this list today, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 YouTubers who voice acted in video games. For this list, we'll be looking at all those YouTubers who provided their voices in video games, whether their roles were minor or big or they participated in a AAA game or an indie game. Today, we're just going to be giving them recognition. In this list, we will not be counting YouTubers who voice acted as themselves, we will also not be counting YouTubers who only face model characters, and we will also not be counting voice actors who later became content creators. Hope you guys enjoyed this list, and let's just get to it. Number 10. The Rad Brad, Oddworld Soulstorm. Your stuff and everything, so I've been showing my face a little more. Bradley Lamar Colburn, better known as the Rad Brad, is a content creator who's been around YouTube for 10 years, and he is known for creating video game walkthroughs of the newest and hottest games that have come recently. In 2021, the Rad Brad made a playthrough of Oddworld Soulstorm where he announced he did his first voiceover in the game, and while his role was a minor one, it is still a memorable one. Shocked today in the local community after evil boss burns down factory and kills entire workforce and then runs away. Moloch the Glucken killed his entire workforce when he set fire to rupture farms with workers still inside. The screams and cries of the doomed workers can be heard for miles around the factory, according to witness accounts. And Brad did a really good job on his first voiceover. Hopefully in the future, he gets more opportunities to do more voice acting in video games. Number 9. 8-Bit Ryan. The Sower Virus, a faceless short story. It's weird to even say such a thing though, like... 8-Bit Ryan is an English content creator known for creating gameplays of horror games, Five Nights at Freddy's, Geometry Dash, and Friday Funky Night. In 2020, 8-Bit Ryan announced that he voiced the main character for an indie game called The Sorrow Virus, a faceless short story, in which the game story follows a man named Wyatt Hill as he ventures into purgatory consumed by the guilt. There's no there going go. back now. One way or another, hey. this is how it ends. For his first main lead character, he did a pretty good job bringing the character to life. Let's hope this experience could potentially get him to do more voiceovers in future video games. Number 8. Strange Rebel Gaming Final Fantasy VII Remake What?! That's absolutely an insane fact that I don't even believe when I say it out loud. Brianna White, also known for her YouTube channel Strange Rebel Gaming, is a YouTuber and Twitch streamer who plays a variety of games on her channel and got the chance to do voiceover for a AAA game and one that everyone loves. Back in 2019, Brianna announced through her YouTube channel that she is the new voice actress for one of the iconic characters of the Final Fantasy series, Aerith Gainsborough, one of the main lead characters in Final Fantasy VII. For all the moments and the memories, you've made me more happy than you know. Even if you think you have, it's not real if that's what you want. Thank you. It definitely shows here how much she has poured her heart, soul, and passion into this role and how well she performed as this character. And hopefully this isn't the last time Brianna does voiceover in video games and that we get to see her bring more incredible characters to life in the way she brought Aerith to life. Number 7. Jim Sterling, Oddwell Soulstorm, and Lorelai. Thank you. Thank you. Bow. Bow. Wow. James Stephanie Sterling, also known as Jim Sterling, is a video game journalist, critic, content creator, and also a professional wrestler, and as of recently has openly declared being pansexual and queer. Much like John Jaya, Jim Sterling also gives recent gaming news, but like Angry Joe, if needed to be honest and critical and even insult companies that screw things up, will do so. In 2019, Jim Sterling did voiceover in Lorelei and voiced a character named Charles. Unfortunately, I could not find any clips from his voiceover in Lorelei, but there's evidence in IMDb. He also did a minor voice role in Oddwell Soulstorm as well and did a great job performing it. Following the disaster at Rupture Farms, Moloch the Glucken is still in hiding, avoiding having to answer for his shameful actions. The shamed CEO is being sought by the authorities, having fled shortly after the factory burned to the ground, 
killing everyone inside. Let's hope in the future Sterling gets more opportunities for voice acting, whether if it's for major games or minor games. Number 6, Alana Pierce, Cyberpunk 2077, and Gears 5. Hello everyone, I'm Alana and welcome to my channel and today we are doing another Q&A. Alana is an Australian video game writer, journalist, and as of late, a voice actress, and has worked on websites like IGN and Rooster Teeth. And as of today, she is currently working in Santa Monica Studios. In 2019, Alana announced through her YouTube channel that she did a minor voice role for Gears 5. What? You want to join them? What if it's all PSYOPs tricks? Ever think of that, huh? Yeah, that is, with certain adjustments, mind you. And in 2020, she also announced that she did voice acting for a side quest character in City Project Red's Cyberpunk 2077, where she voiced Lana, a character you meet in the Nomad Pad in a junkyard, where she has the main character's car, and you can either leave her the car, or buy it, or third option, persuade. Hey, what the- hands off my car! No, why would you leave it rusting in a yacht? And you abandon it, and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you left it. Likely story. Jeez, thanks. This is just the beginning for this lady in the world of voice acting, and I can feel we'll be seeing a lot more of her voiceover in the future of gaming. Number 5, Yan Ye, yeah. Genshin Impact, Lorelei, Paladins, and Infinite. Well, at least that's one man's take on everything. Yan Ye yeah is a content creator who is well known for reviewing video games and giving the most recent gaming news. He has expressed on his YouTube channel how he has studied acting and how he aspires to do voice acting, and in 2019, he got the chance to do voiceover in a game called Lorelei, where he voiced Jimmy the Traveler and gave such a great performance for this character. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. Look, it used to be fun. I went to different places every night. At first, I thought they were just dreams. He also did voiceover for an indie game called Infinite where he voiced the character of Eden Watts. <sighs> Holy shit. The goddamn Amjack just shot us down. Is anyone getting this? He also participated in Paladins as the voice of Vatu, and one of the most recent voiceover he has done has been Genshin Impact, where he voiced various characters like Jin Ming, Xinian, Jitong, and more. There seems to be something mysterious about this photograph. This man is clearly talented and he deserves to get more opportunities for voiceover jobs. Number 4, Jack Septicai, Bendy and the Ink Machine, Vacation Simulator, Monster Prom, Murder House, and more. I didn't ever think that the channel would get there, and here we are almost six years later. Don McLaughlin, better known as Jack Septicai, is an Irish YouTuber who does gameplays and other entertaining content. As of late, he's been also getting into voice acting and has participated in a couple of indie games. Particularly, he voiced characters like Sean Flynn from Bendy and the Ink Machine. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I went and painted some of those Bendy dolls with a crooked smile? That's sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be flying off the handle at me. Feel the eel and calculus to Hewlett Packard in Monster Prom series. Job, comrade. Uh, the nation. revolution is here. <laughs> Server and as of recently, Janitor Jack in Puppet Combo's Murder House. Whoa, calm down! How did you get in here? Hold on, there's a phone in here. Let me go check it out, and you wait here. I'll take care of him. You'll be safe here. Hopefully they get this man involved in bigger video game projects because he is truly talented. Number 3, Brizzy Voices, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Final Fantasy XV, Monster Prom series, River City Girls, and more. What up world, it's me Brizzy, or Anna Brisbane. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a screen actor, I'm a Ravenclaw, but primarily, I consider myself a voice actor. Anna Brisbane, also known from her YouTube channel Brizzy Voices, is a content creator who is mainly known for doing voiceover impressions of fictional characters. Due to her content on her YouTube channel and how she's able to show how talented is she, she has been able to get cast in quite a few projects. She voiced Dahlia and Belanda in the Monster Prom series. Sure. Best summer ever! There you are, Brizzy! Kumiko in River City Girls, Niyon in Indivisible, and as of recently, Katie in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and plenty more. It's you! You're the merc everybody's talking about, am I right? So, the board here tracks how many monsters folks have taken down, right? A bigger number means a safer town, and who wouldn't want that? Just between you and me, though, they're pretty much all your kills. Cool, huh? Anyway, keep up the good work. We'll try to make it worth your while. Well, if it isn't the Merc who made the ground floor safer for one and all. And now, 
your special reward. Can't wait to see what more this girl has to offer in the future of gaming. Number 2. Pro ZD Scarlet Nexus, Genshin Impact, Persona 5, Judgment, Monster Prom Series, and more. Alright, time to open up the P.O. Box mail that I got in July. Sung Won Cho, also known as Pro ZD, is a YouTuber and voice actor. His channel consists of doing vlog videos and podcast videos with voice actors. ProZD has done a lot of voiceover roles for games like Scarlet Nexus, Genshin Impact. Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please find them if you can. I, I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break, just to catch my breath. Persona 5, Judgment. Huh? Wait, you're Yagami. Shut it, asshole. Um, I I'm just gonna. Hey! Get the hell back here! Monster Prom, Borderlands 3, Yakuza Like a Dragon, and many more. You just got flodged! Hmm! Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. <sighs> Nothing. I get it. This man can voice anything and we can't wait to see what more will this talented voice actor offer us in the future. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1, Aaron Hansen, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Dragon Age Inquisition, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Monster Prom Series, Dream Daddy, and more. Halloween 2 not about Michael Myers? No, that's Halloween 3. Aaron Hansen is a content creator who has a YouTube channel that goes by the name Game Grumps, a show he runs alongside his co-star Dan and they make gameplays, funny challenges, animation, and more. This man has been into the world of voiceover since 2006, where his first voice role was Bruce Banner in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Am I glad to see you? What the heck is going on around here? There was a huge explosion and then I couldn't open this door. I'm fine. I just hope... Wait a minute. Did you say the Omega is under attack? We have to stop it. If that dam is destroyed, thousands of people will be killed in the flood. And since then has done more incredible voiceovers from many, many projects. A big list like Detective Grimoire, Dragon Age Inquisition. Ally with the Templars, I'd imagine. I've seen them weaken magic. What about the Rebel Mages? Rebel Mages probably made that damn breach. House Party, Dream Daddy, Monster Prom Series. <laughs> hmm. River City Girls, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and plenty more. How's this? Looking pretty good, ain't I? Better than good? You're a beast! Getting this rip took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Mainly tears. Hell yeah, bro! Preach it! Tears make the man! And we will be expecting to see more amazing voiceover from this guy. And that's the list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If there was a YouTuber who has voice acted in video games that wasn't on this list and should have been included, be sure to leave it on the comments below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and leave your comments and your thoughts. And yeah, we'll be seeing you on the next video.